Today's video is about addition rule of probability. N of A means the number of members in set A. For example, if set A equals 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, there are five elements in set A, then N of A will be 5. There is a very important uh, principle of uh, inclusion and exclusion for two finite sets. Finite sets means uh, the number of uh, members in a set uh, are finite. N of A union B equals N of A plus N of B minus N of A intersection B. This is the diagram for principle of inclusion and exclusion for two finite sets. Then from this principle of inclusion and exclusion for two finite sets, we can figure out number of elements in A intersection B equals N of A plus N of B minus N of A union B. Now let's go to number two. If N of P equals 15, N of Q equals 20, and N of P intersection Q equals 10, find N of P union Q. So this N of P union Q equals N of P plus N of Q minus N of P intersection Q. That equals 15 plus 20 minus 10 equals 25. Number three. According to the principle of inclusion and exclusion for two finite sets, we know N of P intersection Q equals N of P plus N of Q, then minus N of P union Q. So we have 20 plus 40 minus 50 equals 10. Then for this uh, principle, if we divide it by number of uh, elements uh, in universal set, we will get a probability. That is a probability of A union B equals probability of A plus probability of B, then minus probability of A intersection B. We call this is the addition rule of probability. For addition rule of probability, we also can figure out this probability of A intersection B equals probability of A plus probability of B minus probability of A union B. Let's go to guided practice 1A. If P of B equals 0 0.6, P of A union B equals 0 0.7, P of A intersection B equals 0 0.2, find out probability of A. This is the addition rule of probability. We will do the substitution. Probability of A union B, that equals 0 0.7 equals probability of A plus probability of B is 0 0.6, then minus Probability of A intersection B is 0 0.2. So we get probability of A equals 
0 0.7 minus uh, 0 0.4 is 0 0.3. Let's go to 1b. If a probability of b equals 0 0.6, probability of A union B equals 0 0.9 and A and B are mutually exclusive events. Find the probability of A and the probability of A intersection B. Mutually exclusive events means two things. First of all, the probability of A intersection B equals uh, zero. Second one, look at this uh, addition rule of uh, probability. If uh, probability of uh, A intersection B equals zero, then we get probability of A union B equals probability of A plus probability of uh, B. Therefore, we know probability of A intersection B equals zero. Second one, probability of A union B equals probability of A plus probability of B. In other words, probability of A equals probability of A union B minus probability of B. So we do the substitution equals 0 0.9 minus 0 0.6 equals 0 0.3. Let's go to 1c. Probability of x equals 0 0.3. Probability of y equals 0 0.5. Probability of x union y equals 0 0.6. Find probability of x intersection y. Use addition rule of uh, probability, we will get probability of x intersection y equals probability of x plus probability of y minus probability of x union y. Then we do the substitution 0 0.3 plus 0 0.5 minus 0 0.6 equals 0 0.2. Let's go to 1D. P of B equals 0 0.3. P of A equals 0 0.4. P of A union B equals 0 0.5. Are A and B independent events? This is a definition for independent events. If A and B are independent events, then probability of A intersection B equals probability of A times probability of B. We will use the addition rule of probability to figure out probability of A intersection B. Do the substitution, we will get 0 0.4 plus 0 0.3 minus 0 0.5 equals 0 0.2. Then probability of A times probability of B equals 0 0.3 times 0 0.4 equals 0 0.12. Since the probability of A intersection B is not equal to probability of A times the probability of B, A and B are not independent events. 